Gentleman from California, Mr. Liu. Thank you, Mr. Chair. This is now the fourth hearing in a series of ridiculous hearings on the free speech of Internet companies. A significant portion of this hearing was a waste of time because the First Amendment protects private individuals and corporations' free speech rights. Now, there are things that Google does unrelated to speech that I disagree with. But when it comes to search algorithms, your prioritization, what videos you want to show, the First Amendment protects you. So I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Uh, some of them uh, are fairly basic, and I apologize, but I feel like I have to educate some of my colleagues on how the U.S. Constitution works, and feel free to answer yes or no. So my first question is, we here on the Judiciary Committee are the government, and Google is a corporation, correct? Yes or no? Yes. All right. The First Amendment limits what government can do in regulating the content of speech. It does not limit Google. But well, Google does have to follow corporate laws and other laws. And under those laws, you and your board of directors have a fiduciary duty to your shareholders, correct? Um, yes. Okay. And one of the ways that Google generates a profit is when consumers use your search engine, they watch videos, some of them click on ads, they use your applications. Uh, isn't that one way you generate profit? That, that's one of the business models. Okay. We, yeah. And if consumers were not getting the search results they wanted, or not, not getting the videos they wanted to see, they might start moving to your competitors. Isn't that right? Um, every Monday when I run my management meetings, yes, we worry about, uh, we, users have a lot of choices, so we work hard to earn their trust every week. Right. And uh, so let's say you figure out that the number one thing users want to see are dog and cat videos. Under the U.S. Constitution, you have the absolute right to promote dog and cat videos. I'm not saying you, you do that, but you do have the right to do that if you want to do. Isn't that correct? Um, Congressman, uh, I, I'm not the expert on First Amendment, but generally I, I think that's right. I right, thank you. So last week when I got notice we're going to have another one of these hearings, I did a search on Google. I searched for Congressman Steve Scalise. He is a Republican. And I hit the News tab. And the first four articles that come up are generally pretty positive. The first one is from Town Hall, a generally conservative publication about his book, Back in the Game. Second article is also about his book, Back in the Game. Third is about him talking about election results. Fourth is from Fox, another positive article about his book, Back in the Game. You don't have a group of people at Google, they're sitting there thinking, hey, we like Steve Scalise, so we're gonna generate positive articles on these search results. That's not what's happening, right? Uh you know, I'm very glad to see Congressman Steve Scalise fully record and back, uh, but we don't, we don't, you know, deal with individual queries and, uh, you know, with any viewpoint, and so these are our algorithm. In fact, nowhere in your programming code does Congressman Steve Scalise even show up, isn't that right? Yes, that's right. Okay. Now I'm going to do a real-time Google search for a very similar term. I'm going to change one word. So I'm going to search for Congressman Steve King. I'm going to hit the News tab. First article that pops up is from ABC News. It says, Steve King's racist immigration talk prompts calls for congressional censure. That's a negative article. But you don't have a group of people at Google sitting there thinking and trying to modify search results. Every time Steve King comes up, a negative article appears. That's not what's happening, right? We always <clears throat> operate for any query with the same set of principles. We are trying to reflect what is currently, you know, if it is newsworthy, what is currently being discussed about that, that, that phrase. Thank you. So let me just conclude here by stating the obvious. If you want positive search results, do positive things. If you don't want negative search results, don't do negative things. And to some of my colleagues across the aisle, if you're getting bad press articles and bad search results, don't blame Google or Facebook or Twitter Consider blaming yourself. I yield back. The gentleman's time has expired. Chair now recognizes the gentleman from Arizona, Mr. Biggs. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.